are some other topics that I wanted to be videoed? I can't even remember them all now. Are you going to turn on the video camera when I'm talking and I'm going to go... <laughs> so you once said you had an idea on how to make the changing aspect ratio. Yeah. I, I believe that's what Brad's been working on as well. I told him not to tell me what he's doing. I think he is applying for certain patents. Oh, yeah? Mm hmm yeah. You know what my position is, is, is if, if you don't want anything shared with the public, don't tell me because I'm a blabbermouth. Yeah. I, I just, my purpose is just to teach. You don't use discretion. Huh? No, well, I use discretion, but I don't have, I don't have what I call reverse prejudices. Like when I when I was ex invited to speak to the military, you know, when I spoke at Airspace America, that was that was a military conference, believe it or not. It was sponsored by Congress. The person in charge of all the papers was the James James Martin Defense Science Magazine, which is all military. I got a sample of their magazine. I was shocked when I read through it. There was full page ads for things like F-16s and tanks. They actually have an advertising budget, and they actually, but they actually advertise their, their product. You know, get the get the weapon that you know with cruise control. <laughs> it's unbelievable. Have you ever seen anything like that? Yeah, a long time ago, I used to read Soldier of Fortune magazine. You know, when I wanted to be uh -huh. a, one of those guys. Uh -huh. Yeah, the same thing. Countries, you know, selling jets. You Saudi jets. There was, there, was, get them cheap. there was one on eBay. It was a, a person said I acquired this because my friend such I was decommissioned de some, something like an F-16. It was a I bet on it even. It was uh, something already like nine million. Of course I placed a bid. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I wanted to be on the mailing list. Right. <laughs> <laughs> a second bidder off, the second chance offer. Well, eBay. Ebay, and I backed up the pages fortunately because eBay, sure enough, removed the entire listing. Wow. It didn't comply with eBay things for sale. eBay's so funny. It's it's every year it's changed. It's like I believe they want to destroy their business. Well, like yeah, they, I want to sell a, a. I bought a Bosch, a Bosch radio in in, uh, in Home Depot. And the one that's hanging up, uh -huh. I went to go, when I left Florida and I was going to head to Oregon for a couple of years, I was going to sell it on eBay. And I got it had three days into the auction and they shut it down. They said that DeWalt is suing eBay for patent infringement. So I can't sell my item on eBay. Well, it's... It, I mean, what they, is that about? It, what happens is it has to be the manufacturer has to contact them. It turned out that eBay can be for sale. Knockoff, forgery... Um, not authentic, not unauthentic products, and unless the man, unless the owner, the person who had, is being violated the copyright, they used to just leave it up. They wouldn't do anything about it. And if they were notified by DeWalt, then yeah, I mean, you would think that you own it, right? And right. you bought it. Right. Yeah. I used to spend my my afternoons and evenings notifying people. That what they were buying, that they were gonna, that they weren't gonna get any product. That it was a total um, fraud. You know, I knew how to recognize all those people, mm -hmm. and I didn't have the time. It would take all day. There were so many fraud things. I had to give up. Uh huh. Is this where you get the free water? Yep. Wow. It's right there, huh? Yeah. Thank Bye. you.
getting me barely being able to walk. I ruptured my lower disc this week, and I can barely walk. I'm hoping in a week or two I'll be back to normal. But I've done it before. And I don't take any painkillers, and I don't have surgery. Cold's the best thing for me. Swimming in ice ponds and stuff like that. So I just ignore the pain and just keep on moving. I say the best thing is to jog, which is what I do because it rehydrates the disc. And I, I call it pounding calcium because uh, as you exercise, you put more calcium back into your bones. That's delicious. The retreat area you can rent. That's where I did the boys' weekend. The, it's called uh, Commendo, uh, Boys to Men. And it's, uh, it's an offshoot of the, um, uh, uh, the men's group, which is called um, MKP, uh, Mankind Project where they, you know, they take you on a, on a camp and kind of introduce you to, you know, the Indian style, you know, warrior training, you know, going from a, you know, being able to go from a warrior man or getting into the stuff, you know. But uh, there's springs all over the place, and one of the, you know, the whole property is actually fed by a spring. So it doesn't, it, it's not the old creek that flows through, the, it's uh, all spring water that goes through. All right, so it's perfectly, they don't have to worry about their trout getting contaminated. I think the trout might be a part of it, but the, the water that runs through the, the camp itself isn't. Spring. Leah went on one of those to find her animal spirit. Yep. What, what did you call that? My vision quest. Vision quest. Right, yep. yeah. And it, and <laughs> the the, the origin is called a walkabout. Oh, okay. That's, the, you know, I sent you the uh, trust agreement last night that you yeah. asked me to send. Did you see it? I scanned through this morning. You have a lot of, you have a lot of lights in there. I have tons of rights? Yeah, like for example, they're calling you a contractor. You, yeah. you would have signed it, huh? Well, I haven't read the whole thing yet. I mean, it's, 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 it is boilerplate. It is cut and paste. There's nothing really in there. You know, so-and-so is XXX and the organization is GGG or whatever. It is, it is blank, but basically all I feel it does like is it gives me. Trust. I feel what it does is essentially it's, I, I make someone else a trust manager or someone in control, but then they give me lots of rights to object. <laughs> I, I can complain all I want. Of course, I can't do anything. Well, you, if they're the manager. Well, according to what I've read so far, just a couple of paragraphs here, it says that you as the contractor have the right to, to assign a licensee. So you can develop products and, and assign other small businesses licensing agreement. The, the manager might have an objection, you know, could object to if, it, if it's not enough funding or it's not enough money for the license or, you know, as long as it's a fair and equal licensing, you, you can choose who you want to license. Okay, well, we'll have to read it together. But I'm very gun shy. I'm so gun shy, I can't believe it. And it refers to a lot of the project, you know, so right now all this it looks like it just sets up a trust. There's really nothing there right now, it's just a trust. And then you, you go and you set up, okay, this is the project, and this is what we want to fund it, the budget's going to be and everything. Then, then, then that's when the money comes. That's when all the X's and the G's and everything will get all filled in. You know, where the money's going, who's it coming from? I like it, I like skim through. I'll make some more calls. I don't have my phone numbers with me. Maybe I'll tell you with me. When we're riding, driving, maybe tomorrow I'll call and ask people who are experts at this stuff. Do you have George's number on you? George Tope? Yeah. yeah. Give it to us when we're driving and I'll okay. dial him. I'll get, I'll try and get a professional like we did with Brian yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> I guess I only skimmed through it. Well, I'd love to live in a place where I had my own water source. I didn't have to worry about pipes being turned off. Yeah, yeah definitely.